Hi, my name is Valentina Laria and I'm the Director of Training for PlumGrid. I've been with PlumGrid since the beginning of 2012, working with our early customers and leading the definition of the product and the underlying technology. Today, I'm going to talk about the PlumGrid platform. But before we go over to the whiteboard, I want to talk a little bit about the development philosophy. When PlumGrid started as a company, we decided not to build a point product but to create a set of differentiated technologies that would radically transform how cloud networking services are delivered. We spoke with hundreds of early customers that were building cloud infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. We discussed their current needs and future needs, and based on that, we created a set of technologies that make the PlumGrid platform unique. We helped them throughout the entire cloud lifecycle, saving time, reducing operational costs, and achieving faster time to revenue. The PlumGrid platform is a software-only solution that provides a set of rich and distributed network functions, such as switches, routers, NAT, and IP management. It also supports security policies, end-to-end -end encryption, and insertion of third-party layer 4 to 7 services. The PlumGrid platform is an open, comprehensive, and extensible solution that is built for next-generation cloud networking. It is built on a distributed architecture that can run on x86 servers. Now let's move over to the whiteboard and discuss the PlumGrid platform in more details. On the whiteboard, we have on the left-hand side a representation of the PlumGrid platform, and on the right-hand side, a simplified block diagram of a data center. During this video, we're going to map PlumGrid components to the physical data center layout. The PlumGrid platform has six components. Director cluster, IO visor, virtual domains, virtual network functions, management layer, and SDK. All six components play a fundamental role in making an efficient, easy to operate, and scalable cloud networking solution. Now let's talk about each component. The director cluster is the brain of the PlumGrid platform. It is responsible for managing and coordinating all the different components. The director cluster is usually deployed as a cluster of x86 servers. It is highly available hence tolerating failure of one of the components, and it allows for growth of the environment with its ability to scale out. The second component is the IO visor. The IO visor is the programmable data plane that we use to implement all the advanced functions of the PlumGrid platform. It is deployed as a software module that gets inserted either within the compute node as an edge to provide connectivity for virtual machines, or as a dedicated server or a switch to provide gateway functionality, giving connectivity to external resources or legacy network components. The IO visor achieves the highest level of performance because of its distributed architecture. It can also be fully upgraded and extended at runtime. I now added OpenStack to this data center deployment. Let's look at how OpenStack interacts with the PlumGrid platform. This happens through the management layer, which includes an OpenStack plugin REST API, as well as the PlumGrid Management Console. Leveraging the management layer, users can now start in creating virtual domains. Virtual domains are logical, on-demand data centers that can be created for each tenant. They are fully isolated and secure. Within each virtual domain, users can select among the portfolio of virtual network functions that PlumGrid provides. Features such as switching, routing, NAT, DACP can be combined together to form a topology. It is then used by applications and users of the cloud. Virtual network functions give all the features and functionality that the physical network infrastructure provides in software in a distributed fashion within the IOVisor layer. Virtual domains and virtual network functions are fully decoupled from the underlying physical network infrastructure through a VXFAN overlay tunnel that gets built on demand every time a virtual domain is created hence requiring no new hardware purchase and no reconfiguration of the existing infrastructure. The VNIF portfolio can be extended through the use of the SDK, which includes compiler, languages, and object model. It is based on the IOVisor runtime extensible architecture, which enables users to create new network functions or modify existing network functions and add them at runtime to virtual domains. I hope you enjoyed this session on the PlumGrid platform. For more information on each component, check out our video library. Thank you.